So over here, where the gravel's going, Paul's done a nice job. We're right alongside the driveway. You can see we're down there about 20 inches. Good depth, we'll have a good base of gravel. At the end down there, we'll put a catch basin, another catch basin, fill it up with gravel. And as that water comes down this driveway, should drop into our system, run over to the sump pump, So while I was going to get gravel, these guys have already put down the catch basins in here. They've got the trench dug out. You can see water collecting in there already. Okay, so now we're getting ready to fill up this trench with gravel. We're down about 20 inches. And you can see we've got a whole yard of gravel over there. We're gonna put an entire base down here along the bottom. A good six inches of gravel down here at the bottom. Then we'll set our catch basins. We're gonna use four inch PVC. It's got the holes in it. These holes are gonna point down into the trench, like that. Then we'll finish covering the Next we're gonna go ahead and set these catch basins up. I've already taken out the screws that hold the grate in place. We've got to set these up for a double outlet. <clears throat> little barbs, they snap in, little nipples. Twist and hold it. Locks it in place. Do the other side. <laughs> Twist it in place. Nice and tight. Let's do another one. Remember it has graded edges, little nipples, slots for it. Push it in, twist it, make sure it's good and tight. Same thing on this side. Good and tight. Good. And our first one still has screws in it. <laughs> so you pull those out with your handy dandy drill. Pop off your lid. This one we're setting up to be at the inlet line, so it's got a cap on the end. You saw me pushing them off. I'm going to leave the cap on. This actually goes on the outside. You could put it on the inside, but it goes on the outside. Snap it in place. Twist and hold it. Now we're ready to put our grates back on. So we're getting ready to set this basin. Remember that perforated pipe holes point down. So we're gonna go ahead and put our basin in place. We're gonna have Gerald throw some gravel over here behind the basin. Just throw it as best you can. We're gonna fill this up so it's nice and secure, nice and tight. One more should do it. Good. Now we can actually start throwing the gravel cover. We're going to bring gravel all the way to grade. So you can see we're just finishing bringing our gravel up to grade. Right now it looks a little messy, but once we clean it all up, it'll be really nice. Bring that gravel right up to the, to the bottom of that concrete. Remember we have PVC, perforated PVC, holes point down. The guys are covering the solid pipe, which leads to the sump pit. The sump pump picks it up and carries it away. Basically this is a giant channel drain. Water will run down the 
the driveway here and it will drop through the voids of the gravel down to the bottom of the trench and then it floods up into the holes of the perforated pipe and the pipe carries it away and our discharge is of course that sump pump so we had to make sure that we had a really good pump we put an m98 half horsepower about 80 gallons a minute and it should keep up with this quite well hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day Thank you.